Meet Sally. Hello, what can I do for you today? She is your new best friend. The help you've always wanted. She is perfect in every way. She can do just about anything. Um, so Francesco, what is our debate about today? Our debate is about the fact that um, if things are good for the human society, if the fact that a robot could take the place of a person in a family or in a group of people would be a benefit for our society and for the future society. Mm -hmm. One of the most prominent issues facing the UK is the underfunding of the NHS. It is clear to me that a solution lies in the development of a synth. Synths would also be much more accurate in diagnosis and treatment than humans. It goes without saying that this could also be applied to other countries around the world. Similarly, the education in this country would greatly benefit from the introduction of synthetic tutors that can adapt the lesson to the students' needs. That could improve the lives of us humans, especially the lives of the disabled and elderly people. That could guarantee our safety on the roads. To me, it is undeniable that synths will benefit the human society. Honourable judges, fellow colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Humanity now has reached a threshold of an era in which robots, bots and androids and other manifestations of artificial intelligence, AI, seem uh, to be starting a new industrial revolution. But now the question is, can we really be sure of the fact that artificial intelligence's development is a benefit for human society? After a lot of discussion, we have concluded that the answer is no. First of all, I believe that the main problem here is the security of synths. Security in everyday devices such as smartphones is already not 100% secure. The difference between synth and smartphones is that a synth can potentially create a bomb. Now let's talk about what will happen with people. They become too dependent on robots. Just look at our modern generation. They all are sitting on their phones, computers, and etc. Even today, children have already depended on computers. All of you to, uh, to have a critical outlook about the dangers of robots. Thank you for your attention. So, for our next session, our rebuttals, I would again like to invite the lead speaker of the four. Why you think that sims would provoke job losses? We think that, first, factories where you create sims need lots of people. So, if you invested in the production of sims, you would create the jobs opportunities. And while there definitely is a possibility for hackers to access these synths, I would stress that synths would only be released with the highest level of security. And this technology would develop with the development of synths. Now I would like to concentrate your attention of a thing that the leader of the opponent team has said. How can you believe that companies which build robots should give their products for free? So, you said that robots are cleverer than we, and because of that they can't help us. But how people will control them? If something wrong happened, we humanity won't stop them. Thank you. Thank you very much both teams. So the next stage will be our beard to beard.
I would suggest again that teams, you get together, you have a quick discussion, and we will. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. And charities, the the factor, the you need to be happy. Yes, talking about if artificial intelligence will be of benefit to mankind. We think that your most powerful arguments are about healthcare and about education. On the against side, the economic argument that you put forward was huge. You know how we, how the robots are going to work for no money. Great things that you did. Your arguments were amazing. The language was amazing. The research that you did. Um, not only that, though, it was also the critical thinking that mm. you used because you actually used your own ideas. And the problems you guys are going to have to face in the future. You're going to need fresh ideas and fresh thinking. So that doesn't that just show that it's not just how much English you know; it's what you can do with the English you know. Yeah, that's important. And I think the second half, after we'd given some initial feedback, wow, we we really saw you guys respond. Actually, we felt more emotionally attached to your arguments. We felt that you were pulling us in, and that's really that your strength because if you can pull your audience in and take them with you throughout your argument, then it's a very powerful thing to do. It's yeah. not the facts and the arguments just, it's the emotional connection. I add as well, yeah. with the rebuttals, these guys just complimented, they didn't realise that you didn't have longer to prepare those. They thought that you'd written those the same that you had written your opening statements, so that's real testament to how well yes. you made those rebuttals in what? Five, seven, ten minutes, something like that, so congratulations. Yeah. You're all winners for really working so hard and oh. taking part and being brave enough. And I think you've developed a lot of skills. Well done, the Model United Nations, the real Woo! Union of Nations. <laughs> <laughs> New generation persona synthetics, closer to humans than ever before.